Welcome back to Joe's Computer Museum. Today, we're going to retrobrite a keyboard. Warm up the CRT, it's time for another episode. So for my first retrobrite experiment, we're going to retrobrite this old keyboard. Now this is the keyboard that goes to my Mac Performa 410. And, um, and I'm also going to go ahead and do the mouse too. And I'm doing uh, this one first because it's one of the easier th ways to do it. It's the immersion method. Uh, this will all come apart really easily where we can take the plastic bits and uh, put them in an immersion of this uh, hydrogen peroxide there. Um, and basically we just stir the peroxide and uh, turn the turn the container several times so that uh, the sunlight can hit it from all the angles and uh, brighten up the plastic. So let's take a look at that. Before you start the treatment, you're going to want to clean everything really, really well. Any bits or pieces of dirt or stuff that sticks to the surface is going to prevent the peroxide from touching the plastic and doing what it's supposed to do. You also want to remove any foils, papers, filters, or anything else that's inside it that you don't really want to treat. You know, these things could get uh, destroyed by the peroxide, and we really don't want that to happen either. All right, so getting the uh, keyboard and mouse apart was pretty simple. You just take the screws out and take it apart. Now the next step is pretty straightforward. We take the high test hydrogen peroxide, we pour it over top of it, and we fill it over uh, with water basically just a little bit so that uh, all of this is covered with hydrogen peroxide. We set it outside in the nice sunny day, and we wait. So one thing of safety you have to make sure, make sure you're wearing safety glasses and gloves because hydrogen peroxide is bad for your, it, it will kill your skin, so be careful. So while we're waiting for this process to go, because it's going to take the better part of the afternoon to do this, let's talk a little bit about what the process is doing here. Long story short, these old plastics have bromine-containing fire retardants in them. They can break down over the time, especially in of the presence of ultraviolet light that you might get from sunlight or even from uh, fluorescent light bulbs. When it breaks down, the uh, bromine comes out of the solution, or it comes out of the uh, out of the chemical, and just turns brown. It turns the plastic all brown and yellow and nasty. So, what do we do to fix this? Well, we attack this stuff with hydrogen peroxide. A little hydrogen peroxide and a little ultraviolet light from the sun, or you can use an artificial light if you want to, will actually reverse that process. It'll uh, the peroxide will bind uh, bind up that uh, bromine, take it out of the plastic, and return the plastic to its original color. Um, there's a lot more fancy pants science and um, chemistry going on there that I care to discuss at the moment, but if you want to look at that, there's a link in the description. I'll tell you the exact chemical process for all you nerds out there that want to see how that actually works. See the bubbles? That means oxygen. Oxygen means it's working. So now we're 30 minutes in, so it's time to stir all of the liquid in there to make sure that the peroxide gets all mixed in and touches all the parts. And we need to turn the container so that light can hit it from all different angles. Here we are, the sun is setting, and we're basically done uh, with this for today. So let's go ahead and take this inside and see what kind of results we got. Before you put things back together, you're going to want to rinse and then dry everything thoroughly. Don't want any short circuits, and we don't want any peroxide all over our hands. These are a couple of close-up shots of the results, and you can see that, uh, yeah, it didn't get all the way done. Either I didn't have high enough peroxide concentration, or it was too cold outside, or I 
did, didn't get enough sunlight or I didn't do it for long enough. But your goal is to uh, get rid of all of that yellowing. Um, and usually you just do that by leaving it in until you get the desired results. For me, the sun went down and I was only doing this as a demonstration. So it really doesn't matter that much to me. And here we have before and after of this side by side. And you can see that the change is actually quite striking. Even though I didn't uh, perform a complete retrobrite process on this, it removed a pretty significant amount of the yellowing. So I'd say that the process, uh, the immersion process that I used for this is actually quite effective. You know, even though it's a little bit time consuming, it gets the job done. Final thoughts? Retrobrite is a pretty cool process for uh, restoring your old plastic uh, bits and pieces back to their original color. The immersion process I used is best for small pieces that can be taken apart easily, like keyboards, mice, peripherals, things of that nature. If you're wanting to do larger pieces like whole computers, you know, classic Macs or monitors or things like that, the paste method is going to work better for you in that case. And I'm going to take a look at that in a future video. Well, that's all for today's video. While you're here, check out some of my other videos. And remember, 8 bits are all you need.